Welcome to A Word with the Wise. Today we embark on a journey of understanding the complexities of spiritual growth. In Buddhism, the journey to enlightenment isn't always smooth. It's about changing deeply, and that often means dealing with the less talked, about sides of ourselves and our lives. We're going to explore the not, so easy parts of spiritual growth and see how they're actually crucial to true awakening. The concept of the paradox of spiritual awakening, as described in Buddhism and Zen, reflects a deeper understanding of the human experience and the journey towards enlightenment. This concept highlights the idea that spiritual growth involves more than just seeking happiness and tranquility. It entails embracing the entirety of existence, including its challenges and difficulties. Let's delve into this idea further drawing insights from both Buddhist and Zen teachings. In Buddhism, the path to enlightenment is often depicted as a journey of profound transformation. Siddhartha Gautama, the historical Buddha, emphasized the importance of understanding the nature of existence in its totality. He taught that enlightenment goes beyond mere contentment or bliss. It involves a comprehensive understanding of the complexities of life. This understanding encompasses both the joys and the hardships that come with existence. Central to the teachings of Buddha is the concept of impermanence, anicca, and suffering, dukkha. Buddha observed that life is characterized by constant change and that clinging to transient phenomena leads to suffering. Therefore, true awakening involves recognizing and accepting the transient nature of all things including pleasure and pain. This acceptance liberates individuals from attachment and aversion, allowing them to find peace amidst life's ups and downs. Similarly, in Zen philosophy, there is an emphasis on direct insight into reality, often achieved through meditation and mindfulness practices. Zen teachings stress the importance of seeing things as they truly are without the distortion of personal desires or judgments. This involves transcending dualistic thinking and embracing the inherent paradoxes of existence. Now, let's consider how this understanding relates to the paradox of spiritual awakening described in the passage. Initially, individuals may embark on a spiritual journey seeking peace and happiness. However, as they progress, they come to realize that spiritual growth entails much more than simply attaining a state of perpetual bliss. It involves confronting and understanding the full spectrum of human experience, including its joys and challenges. The passage highlights that spiritual awakening is not a linear path, but rather a journey with many twists and turns. Just as in life there are moments of happiness and sorrow, clarity and confusion, Embracing this paradoxical nature of existence is integral to deepening one's spiritual understanding. Moreover, the passage emphasizes the importance of facing difficult situations as opportunities for growth. Instead of avoiding or resisting challenges, individuals are encouraged to approach them with calmness and openness. Through this process, they develop resilience, wisdom, and compassion. In essence, the paradox of spiritual awakening underscores the profound wisdom found in accepting life in its entirety. By embracing both its light and shadow aspects, individuals can transcend dualistic thinking and attain true peace and enlightenment. This journey of self-discovery and transformation is universal, yet deeply personal, reflecting the essence of Buddhist and Zen teachings. In both Buddhist and Zen traditions, the spiritual path is often depicted as a journey of self-discovery and enlightenment. However, this journey is rarely straightforward. It is marked by moments of confusion and uncertainty, which are seen as integral to the process of growth and understanding. The passage describes how confusion and adjustment are natural aspects of the spiritual path. Initially, individuals may embark on their spiritual journey with a clear idea of what they seek. Ace understanding happiness. However, as they progress, they encounter unexpected challenges and new perspectives that may deviate from their preconceived notions. 
This is likened to walking through a misty forest where the paths twist and turn, symbolizing the unpredictability and ambiguity of the journey. In Buddhist philosophy, Siddhartha Gautama emphasized the impermanent and ever-changing nature of existence. He taught that attachment to fixed ideas and desires leads to suffering. Similarly, in Zen teachings, practitioners are encouraged to cultivate a mindset of openness and receptivity, free from rigid concepts and expectations. Thus, when individuals encounter moments of confusion and uncertainty on their spiritual path, it presents an opportunity for introspection and growth. Rather than seeking quick answers or clinging to certainty, Buddha suggests that these moments of uncertainty are opportunities for learning and deepening understanding. By navigating through the ambiguity with patience and openness, individuals begin to undergo a profound inner transformation. They learn to let go of outdated beliefs and embrace new perspectives, leading to a deeper understanding of themselves and the world around them. Moreover, the passage emphasizes the importance of community, Sangha, in supporting individuals on their spiritual journey. Connecting with others who are also on the path provides a sense of solidarity and understanding. It reassures individuals that they are not alone in experiencing moments of doubt and confusion. This communal support fosters resilience and encourages individuals to persevere through challenges with kindness and patience towards themselves. The spiritual journey is depicted as a process of continual adjustment and refinement. It involves letting go of the need for certainty and learning to find peace in the exploration and discovery of new insights. As individuals navigate through periods of confusion and clarity, they develop trust in the journey itself, drawing guidance from the teachings of Buddha, the support of their community, and the wisdom gained from their own experiences. The feeling of disconnection from others during spiritual awakening is a phenomenon that many individuals encounter on their journey towards enlightenment. This experience, while initially perplexing and challenging, holds significant importance in the process of spiritual growth and self-discovery. Drawing from Buddhist and Zen concepts, let's explore the nature of this disconnection and its significance. Let's explore the nature of this disconnection and its significance. In Buddhist philosophy, Siddhartha Gautama taught about the impermanent and interconnected nature of all phenomena. However, as individuals progress along the spiritual path and undergo personal transformation, they may experience a sense of detachment from those who are not on the same journey. This feeling of separation is not indicative of wrongdoing, but rather an inherent aspect of the awakening process. Similarly, Zen teachings emphasize the importance of direct experience and insight into reality. As practitioners deepen their understanding of themselves and the world, they may find it challenging to relate to others who do not share their newfound perspectives. This sense of disconnect arises as individuals undergo a profound inner shift in perception and consciousness. The passage likens this feeling of disconnection to being in a room where everyone speaks a different language. Despite understanding others, there exists a barrier to fully sharing one's thoughts and feelings. Buddha spoke about the value of solitude in fostering self-understanding and insight. Stepping away from the noise of everyday social interactions provides individuals with the space to reflect deeply on their own thoughts, emotions, and beliefs. However, it's important to note that solitude does not imply complete isolation. Buddha emphasized the significance of spiritual community, Sanghai, in supporting individuals on their journey. Even amidst feelings of disconnection from familiar social circles, seeking out like-minded individuals or communities can provide invaluable support, understanding, and a sense of belonging. Moreover, the experience of feeling apart from others serves as a catalyst for self-reflection and introspection. It prompts individuals to reevaluate their relationships and discern whether they align with their evolving beliefs and values. This process may lead to significant changes in social circles as individuals gravitate towards connections that nourish their spiritual growth and understanding. Additionally, navigating through the feelings of disconnection 
cultivates compassion and empathy towards others who may also feel isolated or misunderstood. It deepens individuals' capacity for genuine connection and meaningful relationships founded on mutual understanding and acceptance. Ultimately, the experience of feeling apart from others during spiritual awakening is a transformative and necessary aspect of the journey. It offers opportunities for self-discovery, growth, and the cultivation of authentic connections. By embracing this phase with an open heart and mind, individuals prepare themselves for deeper and more fulfilling relationships grounded in shared values and understanding. In Buddhism and Zen philosophy, the concept of increased sensitivity to pain is recognized as a significant aspect of spiritual growth and awakening. This sensitivity encompasses not only physical pain, but also emotional pain and empathetic understanding of others' suffering. Let's explore this phenomenon in detail, drawing insights from Buddha's teachings and Zen principles. Buddha's teachings emphasize the universal nature of suffering, dukkai, as an inherent aspect of human existence. He recognized that pain, both physical and emotional, is an inevitable part of life. However, Buddha also taught that suffering arises from our attachment to desires and aversions. Therefore, the path to liberation involves understanding the true nature of suffering and cultivating compassion towards oneself and others. Similarly, Zen philosophy emphasizes the importance of embracing reality as it is, without clinging to preferences or judgments. This includes recognizing and accepting the presence of pain and suffering in the world. Zen teachings encourage practitioners to develop mindfulness and awareness, allowing them to experience life fully, including its joys and sorrows. The passage highlights how increased sensitivity to pain is a natural consequence of spiritual growth. As individuals progress along the spiritual path, they become more attuned to their own inner experiences and the suffering of others. This heightened sensitivity is likened to turning up the volume on our feelings, allowing us to perceive and empathize with pain more deeply. Importantly, this sensitivity to pain is not seen as a setback, but rather as a sign of healing and understanding. Buddha taught that pain can be a teacher, providing opportunities for growth and insight. By embracing our pain with mindfulness and compassion, we can learn valuable lessons about ourselves and the nature of existence. Mindfulness practices such as meditation play a crucial role in navigating increased sensitivity to pain. Through meditation, individuals learn to observe their pain without becoming overwhelmed by it. Instead of reacting impulsively to pain, they develop the capacity to respond with equanimity and wisdom. Furthermore, caring for oneself becomes essential when experiencing heightened sensitivity to pain. This involves nurturing the body and mind, practicing self-compassion, and surrounding oneself with supportive relationships and environments. Individuals may also reassess their lifestyle choices and priorities to align with their newfound awareness of pain and suffering. The concept of the middle way, as advocated by Buddha, is particularly relevant in dealing with increased sensitivity to pain. It encourages finding a balance between acknowledging pain and not allowing it to consume us entirely. By cultivating equanimity and resilience, individuals can navigate the complexities of pain while still appreciating the beauty and joy of life. An existential crisis is a profound and often unsettling experience that individuals may encounter on their spiritual journey. This crisis involves grappling with fundamental questions about life's meaning, purpose, and existence. Drawing from Buddhist and Zen concepts, let's explore the nature of existential crises and their significance in spiritual growth. Buddha's teachings emphasize the impermanent and interconnected nature of existence. He observed that life is characterized by constant change and flux. An existential crisis often arises when individuals deeply contemplate the transient and uncertain nature of reality. The teachings of impermanence, amika, and the interconnectedness of all things, interdependent origination, become particularly poignant during this introspective period. Similarly, Zen philosophy 
encourages practitioners to confront existential questions directly without clinging to preconceived notions or beliefs. Zen teachings emphasize the importance of direct experience and insight into the nature of existence. An existential crisis provides an opportunity for individuals to delve deeply into the nature of reality and their own existence. The passage suggests that during an existential crisis, individuals may experience a shift in perspective where familiar beliefs and concepts no longer provide satisfactory answers. This can be likened to seeing a familiar picture in a new light where previously unnoticed aspects suddenly come into focus. This shift in perception can be disorienting and unsettling, leading individuals to question their fundamental assumptions about life. Importantly, an existential crisis is portrayed as a normal and even necessary part of the spiritual journey. It signifies a deepening of one's understanding and a willingness to grapple with life's most profound mysteries. Buddha's teachings on the nature of suffering, Dukkha, resonate deeply during this time as individuals confront the existential angst inherent in the human condition. Practices such as mindfulness and meditation are highlighted as valuable tools for navigating an existential crisis. These practices allow individuals to observe their thoughts and feelings without becoming overwhelmed by them. By cultivating a calm and non-reactive mind, individuals can gain deeper insights into the nature of their existential inquiries. Furthermore, the passage emphasizes the importance of self-compassion and openness during an existential crisis. Individuals are encouraged to be gentle with themselves and to embrace the journey of exploration without seeking immediate answers. This process of inquiry may lead to significant changes in one's life as individuals align their actions with their evolving understanding of what is meaningful and important. The concept of the middle way advocated by Buddha is particularly relevant in navigating an existential crisis. It encourages individuals to find balance between delving deeply into existential questions and engaging fully in everyday life. By maintaining this balance, individuals can integrate their spiritual insights into their daily existence, leading to greater harmony and understanding. In the journey of spirituality, individuals may encounter a subtle yet significant challenge known as spiritual entitlement. This phenomenon occurs when individuals begin to perceive themselves as superior to others due to their perceived advancement in spiritual growth. Drawing from the teachings of Buddha and Zen concepts, let's delve into the nature of spiritual entitlement and how it can hinder genuine spiritual progress. Buddha warned against the dangers of ego and pride, emphasizing the importance of cultivating humility and compassion. True spiritual growth according to Buddha, involves transcending the ego rather than bolstering it. However, as individuals experience positive changes through spiritual practices such as meditation and mindfulness, there's a risk of the ego subtly asserting itself, leading to feelings of superiority. The analogy of climbing a mountain and looking down on those who haven't started climbing illustrates the essence of spiritual entitlement. It's a trap that individuals may fall into when they perceive themselves as being higher or more spiritually evolved than others. This mindset contradicts the fundamental teachings of humility and interconnectedness found in Buddhism and Zen. One clear sign of spiritual entitlement is the tendency to judge others for not adhering to the same spiritual practices or beliefs. This judgment is antithetical to the principles of compassion and understanding. Buddha taught that each individual has their own unique path towards enlightenment, and it is not for one person to judge another's journey. Furthermore, spiritual entitlement involves a misconception of permanence in one's spiritual journey. Individuals may falsely believe that they have reached a fixed point of spiritual superiority, failing to recognize the inherent impermanence and fluidity of their spiritual growth. Buddha emphasized the concept of impermanence, Anika, teaching that everything, including our spiritual journey, is subject to change. To combat spiritual entitlement, individuals are encouraged to cultivate self-awareness and humility. 
Regular self-reflection helps individuals recognize any signs of pride or arrogance creeping into their spiritual practice. Humility and spirituality entails acknowledging that there is always more to learn and remaining open to new insights and perspectives, regardless of one's perceived level of advancement. Moreover, the recognition of interconnectedness serves as an antidote to spiritual entitlement. Understanding that all beings are interconnected fosters compassion and empathy towards others. Instead of viewing oneself as superior, individuals recognize the inherent value and dignity of every sentient being, regardless of their spiritual beliefs or practices. Expressing gratitude for one's spiritual growth rather than pride is another effective way to counteract spiritual entitlement. Gratitude keeps individuals grounded and reminds them that their spiritual journey is a gift to be cherished rather than a badge of superiority. The concept of the illusion of permanence is a fundamental teaching in Buddhism and Zen philosophy, emphasizing the transient nature of all phenomena. Through the lens of these teachings, let's explore the significance of understanding impermanence on our spiritual path. Buddha's teachings highlight impermanence, anicca, as one of the three marks of existence along with suffering, dukkha and non-self, anatta. Buddha emphasized that everything in life is subject to change, and clinging to that which is impermanent leads to suffering. This includes our experiences of happiness, relationships, and life situations. The passage underscores the importance of realizing that nothing in life remains static. This recognition can evoke a range of emotions, from liberation to fear. Understanding impermanence frees us from the delusion that happiness or suffering will last forever. Instead, it encourages us to appreciate the present moment and cherish the transient beauty of life, much like admiring a sunset, knowing it will soon fade. Moreover, the awareness of impermanence provides solace during difficult times. When faced with challenges or hardships, knowing that they are impermanent offers comfort and resilience. It reminds us that just as joyous moments pass, so too do moments of sorrow and difficulty. This understanding fosters inner strength and equanimity in navigating life's ups and downs. In the realm of relationships and attachments, recognizing impermanence transforms our perspective. Instead of grasping onto people or beliefs as sources of enduring happiness, we learn to appreciate them without clinging excessively. This attitude cultivates a sense of freedom and flexibility, allowing for deeper connections that are not bound by attachment. Furthermore, understanding impermanence instills a sense of mindfulness in how we live our lives. Knowing that everything is subject to change we become more conscious of our actions, words, and thoughts. This awareness prompts us to live more intentionally, considering the impact of our choices on ourselves and others. Facing the fear of change is an inherent aspect of comprehending impermanence. While change can be daunting, viewing it as a natural and necessary part of life enables us to approach it with courage and openness. This attitude fosters personal growth and adaptability as we embrace life's unfolding journey with resilience and grace. Embracing simplicity and gratitude are additional outcomes of understanding impermanence. As we realize that material possessions and fleeting experiences do not bring lasting happiness, we simplify our lives and find contentment in the present moment. Gratitude emerges naturally as we recognize the transient nature of all things prompting us to appreciate the richness of our experiences and relationships. Navigating spiritual misinformation is a significant challenge on our spiritual journey, requiring discernment and clarity amidst the abundance of information available. In Buddhism and Zen philosophy, the importance of wisdom, critical thinking, and inner reflection is emphasized to distinguish genuine teachings from misleading ones. The passage highlights the prevalence of spiritual misinformation, which can manifest in various forms such as superficial teachings, false promises of quick enlightenment, or misinterpretations of traditional spiritual wisdom. This metaphorically resembles being in a forest 
with numerous paths, where not all lead to genuine spiritual growth. Buddha's teachings emphasize the value of wisdom and critical inquiry over blind adherence to external authorities. He encouraged individuals to question and discern teachings based on their own experiences, rather than simply following what others say. Amidst the vast array of spiritual information, sticking to the core principles of spirituality is advocated as a guide. These principles include kindness, mindfulness, and self-awareness, which form the foundation of authentication of authentic spiritual practice. By focusing on these fundamental concepts, individuals can discern between genuine spiritual guidance and misinformation. Furthermore, the passage underscores the importance of recognizing that spiritual growth is a gradual journey rather than a destination. Misinformation often promises quick and effortless enlightenment, whereas authentic spiritual development requires dedication, patience, and inner transformation. Trusting one's intuition and inner wisdom is emphasized as individuals progress on their spiritual path. If something feels off or too simplistic, it is essential to trust these inner feelings and critically evaluate the information. Seeking guidance from trustworthy sources such as experienced teachers, authentic spiritual writings, or established spiritual communities can provide valuable insights and support. These sources offer reliable guidance rooted in genuine spiritual wisdom, helping individuals avoid misleading information and stay aligned with their spiritual aspirations. Remaining open-minded and adaptable is also crucial in avoiding spiritual entrapment. By cultivating flexibility and a willingness to learn, individuals can adapt their understanding and beliefs without losing sight of their spiritual goals. Continuous learning, mindfulness, and active participation in spiritual communities contribute to a deeper understanding and clarity on the spiritual path. In Buddhism and Zen philosophy, doubt plays a significant role in the spiritual journey. Contrary to common perception, rather than being viewed negatively, doubt is seen as a natural and necessary aspect of spiritual growth. It involves deeply questioning our beliefs, practices, and understanding of spirituality, leading to profound insights and personal development. The analogy of standing at a crossroads where different paths diverge illustrates the pivotal nature of doubt. This moment of uncertainty compels individuals to scrutinize their beliefs and motivations, fostering a deeper understanding of spiritual truths. Buddha himself encouraged inquiry and critical thinking, advocating for personal exploration of truth rather than blind acceptance of dogma or authority. Although doubt can evoke discomfort by challenging established beliefs, it serves as a catalyst for growth and self-discovery. It prompts individuals to reevaluate their convictions, leading to a clearer vision and a more authentic spiritual path. This process is akin to digging deep into the earth to uncover valuable insights buried beneath the surface. Handling doubt in a healthy manner involves embracing curiosity and openness rather than succumbing to fear or avoidance. Rather than doubting everything indiscriminately, individuals are encouraged to approach their doubts with a sense of inquiry and a desire for deeper understanding. This attitude fosters humility and openness to new ideas, breaking down the barriers imposed by the ego's need for certainty. In the context of spirituality, faith and doubt are not viewed as contradictory, but rather complementary. Faith entails trusting the journey of seeking truth while remaining open to exploration and discovery. Doubt, on the other hand, encourages individuals to experientially engage with spiritual teachings rather than passively accepting them. This active involvement fosters a genuine and deeply felt understanding of spiritual truths. Practices such as meditation and mindfulness are invaluable tools for navigating doubt on the spiritual journey. They enable individuals to observe their doubts without becoming overwhelmed by them, fostering a balanced perspective and inner peace. Additionally, seeking support from spiritual communities and mentors can provide guidance and reassurance during periods of doubt, reinforcing the understanding that questioning is a natural and essential aspect of the spiritual path. Ultimately, embracing doubt with curiosity, openness, 
and mindfulness enriches the spiritual journey, leading to deeper insights, personal growth, and a more authentic connection to oneself and the world. By welcoming doubt as an integral part of the journey, individuals cultivate resilience, humility, and wisdom, ensuring that their spiritual path is grounded in genuine understanding and self-discovery. In Buddhism and Zen philosophy, the temptation of spiritual bypassing represents a significant obstacle on the path to genuine spiritual growth. Spiritual bypassing occurs when individuals use spiritual practices, beliefs, or experiences as a means of avoiding or escaping from their personal problems or emotional struggles. Instead of confronting their inner challenges directly, individuals may attempt to bypass them by seeking solace in spiritual activities. This phenomenon is antithetical to the core teachings of Buddhism, which emphasize the importance of facing and understanding one's suffering. Rather than evading difficult emotions or experiences, true spiritual growth involves embracing them fully and working through them with honesty and courage. By confronting our inner challenges head on, we create the conditions for genuine healing and transformation to occur. Spiritual bypassing often manifests in various ways, such as attempting to maintain a perpetually positive outlook or avoiding feelings of sadness, anger, or fear under the guise of spiritual enlightenment. However, genuine spirituality encompasses the full range of human emotions and experiences, including those that may be uncomfortable or painful. By acknowledging and accepting all aspects of our inner landscape, we pave the way for profound inner growth and self-awareness. To overcome the temptation of spiritual bypassing, individuals must cultivate self-awareness, honesty, and the courage to confront their inner demons. This requires a willingness to delve deep into our psyche, exploring the root causes of our emotional struggles and addressing them with compassion and understanding. Rather than seeking refuge in spiritual practices as a means of escape, we must embrace them as tools for inner exploration and self-discovery. Moreover, recognizing the temptation of spiritual bypassing is only the first step. Individuals must actively work to dismantle this pattern of avoidance by developing a genuine willingness to confront their inner challenges. This may involve seeking support from spiritual mentors or therapists engaging in practices such as meditation and mindfulness to cultivate greater self-awareness, and fostering a sense of authenticity and vulnerability in our spiritual journey. In Buddhism and Zen philosophy, embracing the shadow self is regarded as a crucial step on the spiritual path towards genuine self-awareness and growth. The shadow self represents the aspects of ourselves that we tend to overlook or suppress such as hidden fears, secret desires, or past experiences that we find challenging to confront. Understanding and accepting these concealed parts of our psyche are essential for attaining true spiritual enlightenment. The concept of the shadow self originates from the recognition that every individual harbors facets of their personality that remain hidden or repressed. These aspects may include thoughts, feelings, or memories that we consciously choose to ignore or deny because they conflict with our self-perception or societal norms. It's akin to having a neglected room in our house filled with items we'd rather avoid confronting. Acknowledging the existence of our shadow self can be a confronting process as it often requires us to confront aspects of ourselves that we may find uncomfortable or unsettling. However, this acknowledgement is fundamental for personal growth, analogous to finally opening the door to that neglected room confronting its contents. While initially challenging, facing our shadow self ultimately leads to a sense of liberation and freedom. The teachings of Buddha, emphasizing self-awareness and mindfulness, provide valuable insights into understanding and embracing our shadow self. Through mindfulness practices, we become attuned to the subtle aspects of our psyche that we typically overlook, facilitating the process of self-discovery and acceptance. 
Mindfulness allows us to observe our thoughts and emotions without judgment, enabling us to confront our shadow self with compassion and openness. Embracing our shadow self entails accepting our imperfections and acknowledging that we are multifaceted beings with both light and dark aspects. It requires honesty and courage to recognize that we are not perfect and that there are parts of ourselves that require attention and healing. By embracing our shadow self, we cultivate a deeper understanding of ourselves and forge a more authentic connection with our spiritual essence. Exploring our past experiences, especially those we may have buried or forgotten, is an integral aspect of confronting our shadow self. These past events often shape our hidden fears and desires, and by examining them, we can begin the process of healing and growth. It's essential to approach this process with kindness and patience, recognizing that self-discovery is a gradual and ongoing journey. Seeking guidance from therapists or spiritual mentors can provide valuable support as we navigate the complexities of our shadow self. Sharing our struggles with a trusted spiritual community fosters a sense of belonging and solidarity, reminding us that we are not alone in our journey of self-discovery. As we conclude our journey through these profound spiritual topics, let's take a moment to reflect on the invaluable lessons we've learned. Our exploration into spiritual awakening has illuminated the fact that true spiritual growth transcends mere feelings of contentment. It encompasses confronting challenges and deriving wisdom from them. We embarked on this journey by delving into the paradox of spiritual awakening, recognizing that growth often accompanies difficulties. We embrace the importance of embracing confusion and embracing confusion and embracing change, understanding that moments of feeling lost are inherent in our spiritual evolution. Exploring the theme of disconnection, we realize that such moments can serve as opportunities for personal growth. By becoming more attuned to both our own suffering and that of others, we deepened our comprehension of life and human nature. Confronting significant existential questions we learn to approach the meaning of life with humility and open-mindedness. We cautioned against spiritual entitlement, reminding ourselves not to perceive ourselves as superior due to our spiritual practices. Moreover, we embrace the fundamental truth of impermanence, recognizing that everything in life is in a constant state of flux. We honed our discernment skills, learning to navigate through spiritual misinformation with critical thinking and self-reflection. Doubt emerged as a powerful tool for deeper understanding, encouraging us to question and probe into the depths of our beliefs. We acknowledge the necessity of embracing our shadow self, accepting all facets of our being with compassion and honesty. Each of these topics interconnects like pieces of a puzzle, painting a comprehensive picture of genuine spiritual growth. Our journey underscores that the path to enlightenment is neither simple nor straightforward, but rather it is filled with profound experiences and transformative changes. As we continue along our individual paths, let us carry with us the wisdom gleaned from our exploration. Let us remain receptive to new insights, extend kindness to ourselves and others, and view every challenge as an opportunity for spiritual evolution. Our spiritual journey is deeply personal, yet it is also a shared endeavor with others. I extend my gratitude to you for joining me on this exploration. If the insights shared resonate with you, I invite you to like and subscribe to our word with the Wise Channel. May your path be illuminated with newfound understanding, growth, and inner peace. Remember, the journey itself is the ultimate destination, and every step, even the most arduous ones, brings us closer to enlightenment and wisdom.